most difficult lesson that every new runner has to learn is how to pace themselves. So just picture this, you're going for your run, you're feeling really strong, but after just a few minutes, you're completely winded, your heart is racing and you just can't go on. Does this sound familiar? In this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the basics to learn how to pace yourself for your run. Let's quickly define pace. Your pace is basically your speed when you're running. It's the number of minutes it takes to complete a kilometer or a mile. You'll see it expressed as 630 minutes per kilometer or 1030 minutes per mile. Your average pace would be the average of this pace over your entire duration. So regardless of if you started fast and finished slow, this is the average of your whole run. Whereas split pace is your pace divided into even increments, usually kilometer or mile increments. And this lets you see if you've had a consistent pace across your whole run. Now that we've defined pace, I'm going to tell you to ignore these numbers, at least for now. As a beginner, your goal is really to find a consistent pace that you can run from the start of your run to the end without feeling totally winded a few minutes in. And to find this, we need to take a little bit of time to find the sweet spot of an easy, steady pace. And because everyone's easy pace is different, rather than looking at numbers, we're going to concentrate on how you feel during the run. And there are two ways that we can do this. The first method is related to your breathing. Now, often a easy pace is referred to as a conversational pace. And what that means is that you should be able to carry on a conversation during your run. You should be running slowly enough that you can make complete sentences without gasping for air between every word. Now for some new runners, that might mean alternating between running and walking intervals. This will allow you to gradually increase your runtime while you improve your fitness. The point is that these runs should feel comfortable. If you're completely out of breath and you feel like you're going too hard, you probably are. Some people do very well concentrating on their breathing while running, but other people like myself like to rely on numbers. For new runners who are still looking for a consistent, easy pace, wearing a heart rate monitor can be a great way to keep your intensity in check. Now, if you want information on heart rate monitors, leave a comment down below and I can make a video about that too. The concept of heart rate training is that there are different heart rate zones to target depending on what workout you're doing. This is expressed as percent of your max heart rate. Now, according to the American Heart Association, aiming for 50 to 70% of your max is a great place to start for new runners. There are different ways to estimate your max heart rate, but one of them is with a very simple calculation. It's just 220 minus your age. If we use myself as an example, I'm 33 years old. So 220 minus 33 is 187. That means that my theoretical max heart rate is 187 beats per minute. Now, if I wanna target 50 to 70% of this max, I would be looking at a 93 to 131 beats per minute for an easy pace. There are two things to keep in mind if you're using heart rate to gauge intensity. The first is that over the course of your run, your heart rate is going to gradually increase as you get more tired. The second thing is that your heart rate might not be totally accurate depending on what heart rate monitor you're using. Using your heart rate as a tool combined with concentrating on your breathing is a great way to monitor your intensity. I wanna make sure that you don't feel discouraged about running slowly. Running slowly is not bad. Just like running fast is not always good. There's a place for slow runs and fast runs in every training program. Slow runs are an integral part of building up your fitness and making sure that you don't get injured. A lot of elite athletes run something like 80% of their runs at a slow, easy pace and only 20% of their runs at a high intensity. Not every single run has to be done at your max intensity. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. I hope this helps you find a consistent pace. If you did find this useful, please hit the like button down below. As always, please subscribe so you can see my new content. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.